How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video I went ahead and installed the Android Wear 2.0 developer preview here on my Huawei watch. Yes, it's a little beat up because I do wear it every day for work. And we're going to show you what the new features are in this new build of Android Wear. So it's kind of neat. It has a lot of new things and it really utilizes the button interface on this device as kind of a back button and a launching button at the same. So we're going to show you some of these features. The first thing is the notification pull down has been a humongous improvement where all your little toggles are on the same page. There's no reason to swipe back and forth anymore. You can just pull them down and get to them quite easily. Um, some of them have interfaces where you can actually like click on them and then they'll allow you to adjust. And some of them are just on off toggles, which is fine either way. Um, so that's pretty cool. The other thing that is new is uh, we'll go here into settings and there's quite a bit in here. And one of the things you're going to notice is you can't like swipe this away now. See it? Normally you could swipe and it would go back to the home screen. So now to go back, you're going to hit that button. That button's going to become very useful and hopefully not launch your uh, notifications. Just show you what this thing is working on. So there is a couple bugs and it does kind of want to walk around on you at times. But uh, let's see if we can get in here. So tap to view. And there it is. So there is Android OS N, which is really awesome, or Android Wear 2.0. You can see that up there as well. And now, see, you can't go back again, see? So you got to hit that button. Oh, it's checking for updates. And then that brings you back one. Hit it again, and it'll bring you back to the next menu interface, and or all the way back. Now, notification, you can see, are a little different um, as well. There's just a lot more on the screen when it comes to the notification. It gives you a lot more information. And then like if you have an email like here, you can tap on it and then it opens that email, gives you some good information. You can scroll the whole email very easily or you can let's see if I can do it without it turning off. Swipe up and you have a lot of options for replying and doing different things like that. So I'm going to show you, let's see if we can do a reply. And then you pick, there's some pre-picked replies that make it really easy to respond. And then on top of that, you can go into your keyboard, if I can get it to, to, to start. And you have this keyboard where you can type in things, and it also is swipe compatible. So you can do that, hit enter, and it'll do a reply for that. Now, see, it's a little buggy, so for some reason it brought the brightness control up. Um, but uh, like I said, that's just what it is. So that's still a different. Also, you have how to launch your applications. Normally, you'd swipe from over here, and that would launch your applications. Well, you swipe from the right or the left from the home screen. All you do is you wa you launch your watch faces. So to launch your applications, you go ahead and just tap your button, and then here are all the applications in this nice scrolling menu, which looks really cool on this on the circle for sure. Definitely dig in that, and you can launch into any of your applications from here. The other thing I noticed, you want to go back out of that again, you hit the button, is if you kind of long press the button, it'll go ahead and do the Google Now search, and you can talk and dictate and do different voice searches, which is really neat. There you go. <laughs> Not sure how well it is or accurate it is, but that's basically how you do it. You can tap back out of that as well and get back into your uh, applications. So... Pretty neat. It's a little bit different interface and a little bit hard to get used to. Um, so I'm so used to swiping, but I think I'm liking it. It's really growing on me for sure. So we're going to go back into settings. The other thing you want to check out is go ahead and look at inputs. And you can see how to turn on right here, hand writing. Pretty neat. So we're going to turn that one on. If it's not there, you can go in here and turn it on up here by turning them on there. And then you have handwriting for responding to messages, which I'm kind of want to try that. And we're going to have to see how that works. So let's go back out and let's see if I can get back in here again. So that notification is still there. Um, oh, and that's my response. And it says I can archive it. I can't go back. So maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll actually go into an application like the agenda and we'll go ahead and try to add something. I have no agenda. <laughs> uh, there's got to be something else I can do here. How about a Hangouts? 
like I said, these applications just have a lot more interface with them here, which is kind of cool. There's a lot more you can do with them. So, let's see. You can swipe. Let's see. Does it swipe up? Just, just there. All right. So, again, the can responses. Let's hit the keyboard, and let's see if it lets me do, yeah, draw big letters. <laughs> Interesting. So, A. Oh, wow. It kind of scrolled away as you went. Uh, let's see. Uh, cat. <laughs> it's a little bit hard, but it is available. Um, just interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna text that. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna cancel it because, yeah, but but interesting. So anyway, get back out of that, and there are some options for doing this writing features in there as well. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of neat, something a little different. Now it's interesting that it doesn't take you back to um, your 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 clock here when you hit that every time. It sometimes just takes you back to that notification. Um, yeah, just kind of weird. The other thing I noticed is they're not a floating notification down here. If you haven't noticed that, they pretty much aren't there. You always have to swipe up to get to them. Now that could be just because it's a preview. Um, not sure, but. For now, that's a little interesting. I'm so used to looking at my watch and seeing a notification or not, and then not looking away. Instead of having now, I'm going to have to, you know, swipe up and look to see do we have a notification here or not. So that's just unusual, but it's okay. Now, besides that, you guys got to see these. This is really cool. These elements, digital uh, watch face, and there's a, actually an analog one too. And you go in here to settings, and you have styles, which is awesome. So you can now come in here and pick the style you want. I'm gonna go with green. And now it changed that to green. Swipe over again, and we're gonna add some things called compilations. So I'm gonna add one to the upper slot. And currently Android wears the only one with, with compilations in it, but I'm gonna do date and time. And now I have a little circle up there for date and time. I'll do another one really quickly. Compilation, this one for the lower slot. And as development happens, I'm sure we'll have more options here. You can just see these are some of them at, right here. And developers will put some cool stuff in there, I'm sure. But I'm going to do launch. And now if there's an application that I really, really like to launch a lot, uh, I can do that very easily from here. And I think what I'm going to use is settings. And then there you go. So now I can launch right into settings very easily and quickly from right there. But you can really put any app you want there. See, see me swiping over? Man, I'm so used to doing that. I use this watch every day. I got to get used to using this button. It's, it's going to be interesting. But anyway, guys, there you go. That is Android Wear 2.0. Um, some of the cool things that I've seen on the device, and I'm really, really liking it. If you guys want to install this on your device, go ahead, and uh, I'm just going to make a video on how to do that. You have to unlock the bootloader first, and then download the firmware and do a quick flash and reset up your, your watch and to your phone and sync it all and you'll be good to go. So I got a video on that. Definitely check it out in the video description down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video here on the Huawei Watch on Android Wear 2.0. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.